Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Hello and welcome to Getting to Know You. I'm your host, Robert Jakeway. On today's show, we're going to be doing something really different. It's sort of a special edition. We're going to be highlighting a musical that's going to be done at Colony Central High School this fall. And we're going to be speaking to Carol Ann Weeks, who is a music director, as well as cast members for a high school musical. So let's go talk to them. Carol Ann, thanks so much for uh, uh, agreeing to be a guest today, and, and we're doing something very special today. We're talking about an event that's going to be taking place at Colony Central, and uh, before we do that, I just want to talk about who you are and, and what you do over at Colony Central. Okay. Um, well, I am the choral director at South Colony High School, um, and at Colony I teach two choirs. I direct two choirs, Mixed Chorus and the Chamber Singers and I teach a college-level music theory class, and I am the, director of the, the music director of the musicals. Okay. Well, you are a music person. Then. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, we're talking about um, the musical that's being done um, at, at uh, Colony Central this fall, which is unusual, isn't it? Don't you usually do a, just a, what I'll call a straight play in the fall? Yes, this is an unusual year, but um, we're using this as an opportunity. Uh, we have always done a straight play in the fall and our big musical in the spring. But with the popularity of Disney's High School Musical, uh, we chose to do two musicals this year and our straight play also in the spring. Uh, so this is our first time doing a musical in the fall and it got us off and going right for the first day of school. Um, another unusual thing is we had auditions in the end of school year last year. And we invited the eighth graders from our middle schools up, and our high school all came out for this big audition. And it was a lot of excitement and a lot of energy. And uh, so we're thrilled. We've casted both of our shows, and uh, we are almost ready for our first performance. Wonderful. Now let's talk a bit about High School Musical. Uh, is, it, is, it the, um, is this going to be the first presentation in this area of the live musical? Actually, no. Okay. Uh, it has been. Um, at SUNY Albany. Uh, it was performed at Proctor's, I think a touring company. Okay. Uh, but for a, a local high school, yes. Okay. And that was what we were hoping for. Uh, we wanted to um, be one of the first people because we know that our audience is excited about the show. Our audience of many ages from very young to uh, the experienced musical goers. So we're looking forward to sharing this with them. Now this might be obvious or, or, or overstressing a point, but why High School Musical? I mean, what, you know, is it because it's a phenomenon uh, virtually around the world? Um, um. You said it. <laughs> it is. It is so popular. Um, it's not just music, but it's in all of the stores. There's all different things you can buy of High School Musical. I'm not sure if that's what they intended when uh, it first came out, but it certainly has caught everyone's ear and eye. It has a lot of energy in the music and the dance. Um, it's a large cast, and the music is uh, accessible to everyone's ear and voice. So I, I think the storyline also was a very important hook with the, um, with the musical. Uh, it relates to students in the middle and high school levels. I know Mike Menching is the director for the musical, yes, and you're, yes. the, you're the music director. Is it a challenge having something that is so popular on video and through the television medium? Is it, is it a challenge to bring that from there to the stage? Well, a challenge, yes, but it's a, it's a good thing. Um, we're not copying the, the movie. Uh, actually, there's quite a lot of... Uh, differences between the movie and really? the musical. So uh, we'll, um, there'll be a surprise for the audience. There are some new songs that are not in the, mo in the movie, uh, and they're good. They're very good, and the storyline flows wonderfully. Um, so our, and our choreographer, Cheryl Leahy, is doing a wonderful job um, working with our students. So it's, uh, it's going to be refreshing and fresh. Now, we're going to be doing this a couple times through the show, but I want to just make sure that people know exactly when this is going to be performed. Mm -hmm. Okay. The performances are November 8th, 9th, and 10th. 
Uh, that's Veterans Day weekend. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and then also Saturday, a matinee at 2 o'clock. So there's going to be four shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And we're going to talk about how to get tickets and how to all that stuff a little later on in the show, okay? That's fine. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. But first, um, we're going to have some performance today. Yes. Um, so I'm going to ask you to set up the first number for us. The first number is what I've been looking for. And they are singing this um, in preparation for the audition for the musical in the show. And they're just learning it. And it just comes together so quickly and easily. And there's also the spark between them as they sing the song. So this is, this is really a musical about doing a musical, isn't it? <laughs> yes, okay, it is. Let's, it let's is. go listen to this number. Sounds good. <laughs> it's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me. Thought I was alone with no one to hold. But, but you, you were always there beside me. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. Michael and Carmen, that was great. I enjoyed that very much. Now we're going to talk about your characters in this musical, okay? Um, so why don't we start with you, Carmen? Well, I play Gabriela Montez, and she is a timid, intellectual young lady, and um, she falls in love with this really cute guy named Troy, and they go against the status quo and just fall in love and make the whole school go into chaos, essentially, and it just turns out all right in the end. So that's, that's the main, that's one of the main themes of the whole musical, is this love story? Yes. Huh? It's like yeah. a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. <laughs> like kind of a Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Mixed with Greece. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you're, she's timid and shy. How about you? Uh, Troy Bolton is the basketball star of the school. Uh -huh. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. Everyone wants to be his friend. Uh, he's he's a pretty cool guy, and then he goes away for New Year's on a snowboarding trip, and meets Gabriella, singing karaoke, and they again they fall in love, and they try out for a musical, and throws the whole school into chaos just for that. Wow, can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Are these characters at all like you? I would say yes, just a little bit. Uh -huh. um, well, I'm not totally smart, especially in science or math, but I'm like the timid, shy type, just waiting for that love, the one love. How about and you, Michael? A little bit. I play, I play a little basketball, so that helps. Um, other than that, not, not much. I'm not like the coolest guy in school or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm thinking this might be a challenge. You both know the musical well probably right mm -hmm. uh, from from the video and all that stuff do you are you trying to create your own characters I mean I know you have a character that has a particular mission but are you trying to give Gabrielle a, 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 a different slant or are you are you influenced by the video at all I would say yeah I'm influenced by the video a lot i um, just basing the character on her trying to be the, the timid girl but I want to bring a little bit you know a little bit of feistiness out, especially in the singing, because that's the part where everybody's expecting it to be really good. Put your own brand on it, yes. right? right. Yes. How about you? I, I base my character a lot on the video. Um, I think I try to make him more personable, more like you can connect with him a little more, because not a lot of people are the coolest guy in school. So I try to make him a little less 
godly, I guess. Okay. So are you ready for the, it's coming up soon, right? Are you ready for the uh, performance, do you think? We're working really hard. We're working really hard. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it, and I'm sure our viewers will as well. So uh, thanks for being here and doing this today. Thank you for having okay. us. Okay. Keith and Jill, we're going to set up the song you're going to do, and it's basically the same song we heard before, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it, and it's, it's the audition piece for the show, so I guess we sort of got them out of, uh, out of order here, but um, both Michael and Carmen talked about their characters. So, um, Jill, what is your character like? Well, she's very mean, um, but I think her meanness stems from an insecurities about herself. But basically, throughout the play, she just picks on everyone else and is a bully. And so she's the one everyone loves to hate. Yeah. Right. Right. I love how you've done some little little uh, psychoanalysis on her, <laughs> giving her a little bit of a motive, huh? Yeah. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. How about your character? Um, well, I'm more of the sidekick to Sharpay. Um, when around her, I'm mean and I'm what she wants me to be. But when I'm by myself, I realize that you don't have to be that way in order to gain people's trust and um, communicate with them. And so, wow, there's lessons ways. to be learned in all this, too, yep. huh? Mm -hmm. uh, so you're a team in this. You're, the, you're mm -hmm. the yeah. kind of the diabolical duo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, right? <laughs> okay, let's set up the song. What, what, now, what, what's, what are you doing for this song? Um, it's called What I've Been Looking For. And it's our audition piece for the musical. They have singles auditions and then they have pairs auditions. And originally, we're the only ones trying out for the pairs auditions. And so. we come in and bring our own arrangement of yeah. the song. And we tell them how it goes. <laughs> so basically, you've got it already in the bag as far as you're concerned, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Then Troy and Gabrielle will come <laughs> along. <laughs> <laughs> Darn them, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go do the number. Okay. All right. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see You were always right beside me Thought I was alone with no one to hold But you were always right beside me This feeling's like no other I want you to know I've never had someone that knows me like you do The way you do I've never had someone as good for me as you, no one like you. So lonely before I finally found what I've been looking for. What's with you and those stupid jazz squares? Too hard, I can dumb them down again. So good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't, Don't have, have to say, say a word. word. For so long I was lost, so good to be found. I'm loving having you around. around. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. I've never had someone that knows me like you do. The way you do. I've never had someone as good for me as you. No one like you. So lonely before I finally found. What I've been looking for. Do 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Do 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 I want to talk about your characters and, like the others have done, give us an idea of who you are in this musical and what you're, what you're about. So, Crystal, I'm going I'm to start with you. What's your character's name? My character's name is Taylor. Um, she's, she's Gabrielle's friend, like the first person that she meets, and um, she just wants Gabriella to be, in, because Taylor, she's smart, and she's the president of the science team, and she just wants Gabriella to be part of it instead of doing the musical because Gabriella is smart, too. So she just wants her to be able to be her friend and do what she really wants okay, to does do. Does Gabriella kind of confide in her, or, or yeah. is it the other way around? So you're yeah. really the confidant. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Bill? Uh, my character's name is Chad. I'm the best friend of Troy, and I'm um, one of the best basketball players on the team and basically what my character does is uh, he tells uh, Troy that you know he's a basketball player not a musical singer and so he's part of that conflict. Okay and are, are you supporting your friend or are you challenging your friend? I'm challenging him. Aha uh -huh. okay so there's a motive here right? Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, you're going to do a number called cellular fusion, which sounds really like wild, mm -hmm. and it's a number that in involves a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's something special about this particular number in the show. What is that? Well, this number was not in the movie, so uh, anybody who's familiar with the movie is not going to be familiar with this song. Okay, so that's one of the one of the treats about this number. Now, what about this number? What 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 is what's going on here? It's um it all starts on. I'm getting a call from Gabriella telling me that she auditioned for the musical and they got a call back, and it's big news to everyone. So I have to rush and tell everybody, and then. Everybody starts hearing it, and then they're wondering what will Ryan and Sharpay do when they find out about the callback. Okay, so, so, it's, so it's kind of building as everybody yeah. kind of finds out more and more about it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a fun number. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah? yeah. Okay, let's, we're going to go do a bit of it. Okay. Okay. Gabriella! Troy! What's up? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. What? When? No way. No way. Gotta go, gotta tell like yesterday. Martha. Taylor. Chad. Zeke. I got, I got news, got news. Go ahead and speak. Gotta pass it around, Gabriella and Troy. What? No way. That's not our boy. Pass it around now, don't be slow. Gotta go, gotta tell everybody I know. Gabriella, girl, don't you care? Don't you care about, about the team, your friends, the game? How could, How could they, they what Sharpay and Ryan do? They got a car. What will Sharpay and Ryan do? What will Sharpay and Ryan do when they find out? Hey, Carmen and Michael, we're back again, and we're going to do, do another number in the show, okay? Um, let's, let's set up this number. Where, where does this fit in the show, and what's it about? Um, it happens when Gabriella and Troy are suddenly taken apart by their friends and their friends make up a plan to you know separate them and it and they start to break up and love falls apart for them it really really happens huh Michael if it, love falls apart this is the time when you realize it why because of the peer pressure yeah yeah our friends um, tricked me into saying things tricked Troy into saying things about Gabriella he doesn't actually mean and they had him on speakerphone oh so that she could hear him. And um, not cool. Nope. <laughs> and then they, they decide not to do the callbacks for the auditions and they start singing the song about how they're feeling right after that happens. So this puts a little tension in the show, doesn't it? Or a yeah. lot of it must say, huh? Heartbreak. People's to heartbreaker? Yeah. Now it's a duet, but you have other people singing. I mean, is there some choral work as well yeah. to it? Yeah, in the back. <laughs> Okay. They're doing their oohs and ahs. Oohs and ahs. But it makes it so much better and more emotional. Okay. So it's really a kind of a love song in reverse. Is that the right way to put it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> My phrase, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, let's go hear what it sounds like. Okay. When you find yourself looking from the outside, I'm standing here, but all I want is to be over there why did i let myself believe miracles could happen because now i have to pretend that i don't really care i thought you were my fairy tale my dream when i'm not sleeping a wish upon a star that's coming true But everybody else could tell That I confused my feelings with the truth When there was me and you I swore I knew the melody That I heard you singing and when you smiled, you made me feel 
like I could sing along. <laughs> but then you went and changed the words. Now my heart is empty. I'm only left with used to be. Once upon a song. Now I know you're not a fairy tale. And dreams are meant for sleeping. And wishes on a star just don't, don't come true. true. But now even I can tell that I confuse my feelings with the truth because I like the view. There was me and you. I can't believe that I could be so blind. It's like you were floating while I was falling, and I didn't mind. I didn't mind. Why How did I let myself believe miracles could happen? Cause now I'm having to pretend. That I don't really care. I thought you were my fairy tale, my dream when I'm not sleeping. I wish upon a star that's coming true. But now even I can't tell that I confuse my feelings with the truth. Because I like the I thought you felt so too. There was me and you. Audrey, you have a very special role in this whole musical. Okay, yeah. what is that? Um, I've basically I'm the assistant director. I've been speaking with all the directors, making sure that, you know, just everything is getting done is scheduled, and I'm basically like the intern of the show, you know, kind of doing some of the dirty work, but also getting, you know, all the rewards as well. So you're learning the ropes? Yes. What a wonderful, a lot of, lot of things to do, aren't there? Yes, there's a lot to do. How do your, how do your peers feel about, you know, you, do, do, do you have a challenge with any kind of saying, hey, who are you now? Yeah, it's really difficult because I've been involved in theater my entire high school career as well as before, so it's a lot of my friends and it's, it creates some tension because, you know, just me being in a situation of power that I've never really been in before. It you got the power. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you did a wonderful job, by the way, in the summer musical. You oh, played a very you. interesting character. Yes. Yes, a chest of drawers, or actually a woman <laughs> who was turned into a chest of drawers. Yes. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It was. Okay. Yeah, it's a great experience. Now we're going to set up our last number, mm -hmm. okay? And certainly it's not the last number in the show, but we're going to the last one we're going to do on this particular yes. show, um, and it's called. It's called the start of something new. It actually, it's kind of the first number where we, where we see the entire company. It, it kind of sets the stage for the entire show. Okay, okay. Looking mm -hmm. forward to hearing it. Yes. Well, um, actually, I did meet a guy. See, make with the news flash, sister. I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect, and I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. You'll never guess how I met him. How'd you meet her? Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing. He was pretty good, too. Man, she was so hot, the slopes turned to slush. Yeah, so did Troy. Singing? They threw a contest for the kids. It was kind of romantic, you know? Can you sing karaoke? Karaoke! Hi, I'm Troy. I can't sing. Gabriella, me either. They're all looking at us. I will if you will. Living in my own world, didn't understand that anything can happen when you take a chance. I never believed in what I couldn't see. I never opened my heart to all the possibilities. Oh, I know that something happened. 
has changed, never felt this way. And right here tonight, this could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh, and now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart, I feel in my heart the start of something new. I promised my mom. Seven. Needs Hurry, things. put in your phone number. Six. Six. I'll do it too. Five. Five. I had such a great time with you. Four. Four. Me too. Three, two, Three, two one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. It was awesome. It was like a dream. I made a New Year's resolution to find her again and ask her out on a date. You know oh, what my New Year's resolution is? is? Tell, Tell it. it. I'm gonna work my jump shot. Gonna work the equation. I'm gonna win the game. I'm gonna win the prize. Be the star just like always. Be the star, not the sidekick. Get your pay to open up her eyes. I know this year that something has changed. Never felt this way. I know it for real. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you, oh, and now I can reach the skies, I feel in my heart, the start of something new, the start of something new, the start of something new, this year I know it's gonna happen, gonna happen for me, it's gonna happen for me, I didn't know it before, but now it's easy to see. Oh, it's so easy to see. It's the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh, and now I can reach the skies. I feel in my heart the start of something new. Of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> now, I haven't talked about um, of this before, so I'm going to do it now. And that is, there's something also special about doing a musical in the fall this year, um, uh, which hasn't been done before. So why are you doing a musical in the fall? It's a, just a really big fundraiser. It's, you know, there are a lot of things that we still need. You know, we really need lights and just a lot of all the electronic things we use have just they're increasingly more expensive and it's just a really fun and not necessarily easy but kind of easy at the same time just way to raise money to make just theater in general at Colony High School even better. Well and you picked a great show for it too. I know that people, I mean you want people to understand that they're coming to see a show <laughs> and I hope throngs come. It's a big auditorium so yeah. it can take a lot of people but I'm sure you'll get a lot of people coming but it's also nice for them to know that they're, they're doing something special for the school as well, and for the for the the uh, theater department as well, yeah. mm -hmm. um, in this particular thing. So we don't want to, uh, you know, we want to underscore that one. <laughs> I think that's that's great. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. Now, Caroline, we're we're at the we're at the end of the um, uh, show today, and I just wanted to get some particulars out here. Okay. We talked about the dates before, but let's do it one more time. When the dates of performance are? The dates are November eighth, ninth, and tenth. Thursday, Friday, Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and Saturday at 2 o'clock. Okay, and that's closer than we think. So how do people um, get tickets? Well, you can get pre-sale tickets by calling this number, 331-4158. And the pre-sale tickets are $10, um, and then tickets at the door are $15. Okay, so is it one price for all? Yes, it is. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's important to know. So if you if you're smart, you'll do pre sell <laughs> That's right. You know, I, you know. Okay, and uh, anything else we want to talk about the show before we close? Oh, we're just hoping that everybody uh, comes and enjoys it. Uh, the cast certainly has enjoyed working on it, and we just are 
looking forward to sharing it with the, the community. I love it because I was, I was sort of aware of this happening um, um, be, and, and knew in the auditions because we were also working for the uh, summer theater, uh, which was at the high school this year. So I knew there was a lot of buzz going about this show. So mm -hmm. it was, it's really great that everybody really zeroed in on this one and, and did you have a with auditions was it was a lot of people showed up for a lot of auditions i would mm -hmm. say yes <laughs> it was very had to break very overwhelming uh, no no we no? didn't break any hearts okay. um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we it was a pleasure listening to um to everyone and um everyone has strengths and also things they need to work on so that's what this rehearsal process has been about well great we're looking forward to it i'm sure the viewers will be as well and i want to just Thank you for being my guest today and for all the work you do on this. I mean, it is work, isn't it? Yes, it but is. But fun. You love yeah, it. That's right. You're going to follow this up as a career a bit, aren't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks again. Thanks, thanks for you. having us. And thanks for joining me on Getting to Know You. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I really want you to go to this show. So until next time, have a good one.